As we remember the lives lost 20 years ago in the September 11th terror attacks, we also remember a piece of the story which started earlier, right here at the Orlando International Airport. An immigration inspector who learned years later while testifying before the 9-11 Commission that his actions weeks before September 11th may have saved thousands of lives. News 6's Maris Badcock sat down with him to get his take on that unforgettable day. You might call it a hunch. The first thing that came to mind, he was a hitman. My wife said that I was watching too much movies. <laughs> or an instinct. He was well-dressed, military haircut. That supernatural moment that stops you in your tracks. Uh, he keep looking in my eyes, little black devil eyes. He gave me the chills. But Jose Melendez Perez calls it a gut feeling. Something is, wrong, is not right. But I don't know what, because the passport is good, the visa is good. A gut feeling 20 years ago that some believe changed the course of history. Since, after all, Melendez Perez is credited with stopping the man who would have been the 20th hijacker in the 9-11 attacks. What will happen if I let this guy go through? That's the question that sometimes I ask myself. What could have happened? On August 4th, 2001, roughly one month before the attacks, Saudi national Mohammed al Qatani landed at Orlando International Airport. But al Qatani didn't have his forms filled out properly and said he didn't speak any English. So he was sent to see immigration inspector Melendez Perez, who was conducting secondary screenings that day at OIA, when the two men made eye contact. And when I got there, this guy stared at me and gave me this, like I would say, a dirty look. The first gut feeling. And I said, you know, something is not right with this individual. The first question was, why you don't have a return ticket. That's by law, you're supposed to have a return ticket. And he say, a friend of mine is coming in and he will take care of it. A friend of yours? And how long you know this person? He said, about a week. You know, that didn't make any sense. That was the first flag. 9-11 commissioners now know that at the same time Melendez Perez was questioning al Qatani, lead 9-11 hijacker Mohammed Atta was at OIA waiting for someone to arrive. Atta even used an airport payphone to dial a number later associated with the terror attacks. While Atta waited for his passenger, Melinda's Perez discovered al Qatani had no return ticket, no hotel reservation, 2800 in cash, and no explanation for his visit. When I started asking the question, he got upset, he got rude. When the Saudi national refused to answer questions under oath, Melendez legally had enough to send al Qatani back. But five weeks later, that gut feeling again. And the first thing that I did was to call the airport. I called him and say, Pull the file from Katani and give it to the FBI. Investigators now believe al Katani was supposed to be among the hijackers of United Airlines Flight 93, the one destined for the U.S. Capitol. Instead, the plane crashed into a Pennsylvania field. While the other planes had five hijackers on board, Flight 93 only had four. Melendez Perez received honors across the country. He didn't even learn the role he had played until 2004. You swear or affirm to tell the truth. When he was asked to testify before the 9-11 Commission. Your actions may well have contributed to saving the Capitol. And for that, we all owe you a debt of thanks and gratitude. 20 years later, <laughs> watching the playback of his life. And how the people responded. And my respect for all the families. Very hard. Some feelings haven't changed. You know, that day, as long as I live, I will remember how everything unfolded. Call him a saint, a hero, a lifesaver. But Melendez Perez calls it a purpose. Do you feel like a hero? I was just doing my job. Today, when a Customs and Border Patrol employee does something outstanding, like thwarting a terrorist or preventing an attack, they can receive an anti-terrorism award, an award which is named after Inspector Melendez Perez. I'm Maris Badcock, getting results, News 6.